Are you planning to pursue M.Tech in food technology and are still looking for one of the best colleges to pursue your education along with getting the best opportunities and exposure? Then this video will surely be helpful for you. In today's video, we'll be discussing some of the best colleges to pursue M.Tech in food technology and to know all of these options, stay tuned till the end of the video. There are numerous options available for you which we will be discussing in this video. Before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, we request you to please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any update of upcoming videos. Let's get started. There are numerous options available for you to pursue food technology and we hope that since all of you are planning to give MTech, many of you would have already appeared for the GATE exam. So since you have already done that, finding the college of your dreams is just one step away. Even for the students who have not been able to make through GATE due to any of the reasons or have not written GATE exam but still wish to pursue an MTech degree, don't worry, there are numerous options available out there for you too. So let's discuss all of them one by one. Getting started with the non-GATE option. First one is the CFTRI, that is the Central Food Technological Research Institute located in Mysore, Karnataka. Now, one thing to note about this college is that this college does not offer an MTech degree, but an MSc degree in food technology instead. So, this college offers MSc degree in food technology and this course was started in 1964. So, it is one of the oldest colleges in India offering MSc in food technology. The admission is based on a merit cum entrance exam system where 60% weightage will be given to the entrance exam conducted by CFTRI and 40% weightage will be given to your UG marks. The entrance exam consists of biology, physics, maths, chemistry, dairy, agriculture and many other subjects. For that, we request you to check the website for the exact syllabus and subtopic. CFTRI has one of the best research facilities and is known for its great placement record also. The number of seats for this course are 30. Getting on to the next college is IIFPT that is Indian Institute of Food Processing Technologies which was earlier known as Indian Institute of Crop Processing Technologies. It is under Ministry of Food Processing Industries, Government of India. It is located in Thanjavur, Tamil Nadu. Now this college offers MTech in three different uh, streams, MTech in Food Safety and Quality Assurance, MTech in Food Process Engineering and MTech in Food Science and Technology. The batch strength is 12 for each of the three branches and the admission is again based on a merit cum entrance exam system. So 70% weightage will be given to the entrance exam which is conduct, uh, conducted by IIFPT and 30% weightage will be given to your UG marks. IIFPT offers huge number of opportunities uh, as they have many facilities available such as their own bakery unit, bulk storage facilities etc. Coming on next is the Anand Agriculture University which is located in Gujarat. So for the admission in this college, the admission is through the entrance exam conducted by AAU. 50% weightage is given to entrance exam and 50% to your UG marks. This applies for all those who are staying in Gujarat that is have a domicile of Gujarat. If you are not staying in Gujarat but still seek to have admission in AAU, you do not need to worry as there is a chance for you too. So, uh, for the candidates staying outside Gujarat still seeking admission can apply through ICR AIEEE as they have a total of 13 seats out of which some seats are specifically reserved for ICR quota and will be filled only by them. So, if you stay outside Gujarat and have cleared the ICR AIEEE exam, you can target this college. Coming on next is NDRI Karnal that is the National Dairy Research Institute located in Karnal, Haryana. So as the name suggests, this college offers many courses in dairy. Apart from that, there are many other courses available. This college has seven courses in dairy such as dairy, uh, dairy economics, dairy engineering and dairy microbiology and many others. And there are various other co uh, courses related to animal husbandry such as animal nutrition. And then we have even MTech in food technology and MTech in food safety and quality assurance as well. Now all of these courses are MSc, Masters in Veterinary Sciences as well as MTech. So what degree will be awarded to you basically depends upon your bachelor degree. So for example, if you have done a bachelor in veterinary sciences degree, you will get a master's in veterinary sciences degree by NDRI. If you have done a B.Tech degree, you will be provided an M.Tech degree. So the number of seats for each course is different. So for example, the number of proposed seats for 2020 food technology and food safety and quality was four for food micro uh, for dairy microbiology. 
it was eight and so it depends uh, every year it might vary a little and then for, from course to course so we request you to check the website for the exact number of seats for each course out there and the admission will be based on ICER AI Triple E exam. Yet another college to consider for the non-gate candidates can be PAU Punjab Agriculture University located in Ludhiana, Punjab. So this college offers MTech in Processing and Food Engineering which is provided by College of Agriculture and Engineering Technology. So uh, the admission is through their own entrance examination called as MET Master's Entrance Test as well as through ICR AIEEE exam. So, uh, some seats again are reserved to be filled through the ICR quota. They have a total of 16 seats for this course, out of which 4 are reserved to be filled by the ICR AIEEE quota. Among the gate colleges, the first one we will discuss about is NIFTA, that is the National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management. This is again under Ministry of Food Processing Industries, Government of India and is located in Kundli, Haryana, near the capital Delhi. So the rare, uh, the interesting thing about this college is that it is offering a, a blend of technology along with management which is very rare to find in food tech. So they have five different specializations which are food supply chain management, food safety and quality management, food plant operation management, food process engineering and management and food technology management. So uh, the thing is that they will offer all the important facets of food technology along with giving a knowledge of management. So if you are looking, if you are interested in starting your own entrepreneurship or your own food technology venture, this might be the right choice for you. Also, there are 16 seats for each branch and the admission is taken based on the gate exam. Even the non-gate candidates have a chance in case the seats are left after filling of the gate candidates, Sniftum goes for conducting their own entrance examination for the non-gate students and even take non-gate students for their MTech programs. Next one is the IIT Kharagpur. Among all the 16 IITs, IIT Kharagpur has the sole distinction of having an agriculture and a food engineering department. This college offers MTech in food process engineering and has a total of 30 seats. Again, the seats will be filled by gate exam and in case the candidate comes from very different background, he or she might have to go for a personal interview round as well. One of the main advantage of IIT Kharagpur or an interesting, or an interesting point about is that the top three rankers are provided an option to pursue an MTech and a PhD dual integrated program. So that can be a bonus point for you. Next one is NIT Raurkela. National Institute of Technology is located in Raurkela, Odisha, and this college is also offering MTech in Food Process Engineering. They have only 10 seats and the program has just recently been started there. The admission is based through CCMT, that is a centralized counseling, counseling for MTech students based on their GATE score. This college is also one of the great colleges to consider as it is an institute of national importance. Coming on next, we have ICT Mumbai, that is Institute of Chemical Technology, which is located in one of the India's most popular metropolitan city, Mumbai. So, this college is offering two different MTech courses. So, the first one is MTech in Food Engineering. For the patch of 2020 to 2021, number of seats available are 18, and one can apply based on a GATE score for this college. There is an added advantage that even the students interested to take admission in ICT but have not given GATE exam can apply as they have another course called as MTech in Food Biotechnology for which the admission is based through their own entrance exam called as Graduate Aptitude Test Biotechnology which is conducted by the Biotechnology Department of ICT and this course has total of 10 seats available. The next two colleges I will discuss are again important and Again, the, both the colleges have a chance for the non-GATE candidates also in case the seats are not filled by GATE. They are Tezpur University and Slide Punjab. So first talking about the Tezpur University, is it is located in Assam and this college offers MTech in Food Engineering and Technology. There are a total of 18 seats which will be filled again by gate exam and in case they are left, the remaining seats will be filled by Tezpur University entrance examination. 
Similarly, slight uh, Sant Longowal Institute of Technology, located in Sangroor, Punjab, offers MTech in Food Engineering and Technology. And again, this college also has 20 seats, which will be filled by CCMT, that is the Centralized Counsel Counseling for MTech Students, uh, based on their GATE score. In case the seats are still uh, still remain vacant after this CCMT, they will also go for conducting their own entrance exam, known as SET, on the basis of which admission will be provided to non-GATE candidates. Next one is the IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati, located in Assam, July 2019 onwards, this college started offering an international joint MTech program in food science and technology with Jifu University of Japan. So the added advantage is that the candidates selected for this course will get to spend three and a half months in the Jifu University in Japan and hence it will be a great exposure for you. So the total number of seats are 10 out of which only five seats are for Indian students and the remaining five seats will be filled by Japanese students. The admission is based on an interview as well as your GATE score. However, there is a very tough competition for this one as there are only five seats and candidates having valid GATE XC, Excel, GATE Agriculture, GATE Biotechnology as well as GATE Chemistry are eligible to apply for the same. Next one is the Anna University. Anna University located in Chennai, Tamil Nadu is yet another college located in the metropolitan cities of India. This college offers admission through GATE as well as through Tamil Nadu Common Entrance Test. This college has an NIRF ranking of 14 and they have a total of 15 seats where you can apply for. Now, we would like to mention that other than the colleges that we have mentioned over in this video are not the only colleges offering MTech program. There are many, many other colleges that you can consider. For example, GB Panth University in Uttarakhand, which is offering MTech in, Pro, uh, in Process and Food Engineering. Then there is Guru Jambeshwar University, Hardcore Butler Technical University, that is HBTI in Kanpur. Guru Jambeshwar is in Hisar, Haryana, Jadavpur, and many more state universities also can be a good option and can be considered. Also, a point to note that many of these colleges are offering scholarships to MTEX also. So, for example, many of the colleges taking admission through GATE exam will be offering an AICTE stipend of around 12,400 and many colleges which are giving admission to even non-GATE candidates offer a stipend. For example, uh, Tespo University gives a stipend to non-GATE candidates also and there are many others. Now, things like stipend and number of seats keep on changing and may vary. So we request you to be updated with the websites and check the websites for exact details of the seats and the stipend details. At the end, we hope that you found this video helpful. Team Food Emmy wishes you a very good luck for your MTech admissions in food technology. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel.